What's going on YouTube, Handenbeck making another brand new Crypto TV episode. In today's episode, we will be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as XRP to USD, otherwise known as Ripple. Some of you guys get confused with that. Um, but as always, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications. We are doing a giveaway at 5,000 subscribers for some Crypto TV merch, which will probably hit uh, fairly soon. I think we're uh, a little bit over, I think we're 4,860 subscribers which is absolutely phenomenal and uh, we're about to hit 5,000 probably within the next month or so uh, definitely probably within the next month I, I do have uh, hope that we will get there very soon and you guys did definitely support in the channel very well so I appreciate all of the uh, support from you guys um, so otherwise this is a very 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 uh, important episode and I hope that all of you guys watch it till the end I highly recommend it a lot of news uh, we're going to talk about, as you saw in the title, why is October so important for Litecoin? And uh, could there be a lot of money that you could make? Uh, well, we're going to have to find out, so definitely stay tuned. But otherwise, let's jump into today's episode. We're definitely going to be doing some technical analysis, looking at the overall coin market cap, and then discussing uh, why October is so important in an article that I have pulled up. Um, so otherwise... Uh, let's just jump into the episode. So I'm on the coin market cap right now. I did refresh the page earlier. As you guys can see, market cap 217 bill, 24 hour volume 13.2, Bitcoin dominance 52.6. And I do very well remember that yesterday we were at like 51 point nine or 51 point like five uh, percent so we're definitely seeing an increase in bitcoin dominance which before we even look at the overall coins uh tells me that light uh bitcoin isn't down by much and uh the altcoins are down by much more so altcoins are getting affected right now in this consolidation accumulation phase after this bearish market we have had uh 24 hour volume has stayed the same for the most part and market cap is slowly decreasing i think we saw it as high as like 228 and now we're seeing it at like 217 so uh, a pretty big drop in terms of the market cap uh, to scroll down and look at the top 10 cryptocurrencies. As you guys can see, majority of the market is down uh, by quite a bit. As you guys can see, the top 10 coins, only one is up tether, but not even by a percent, only 0.65. But the other coins are all down. Bitcoin only down by 1%. But as you guys can see, all the other altcoins are down by much, much more than 1%. There are just a few. Steam actually is up 12.9% and I actually have a Steam it account, which is pretty interesting. Let me know if you guys have a Steemit account or know what that is. A few of you guys have actually found my old account, which is very funny and very comical in my opinion. But everything else is, is getting hit quite a bit. Aurora up 14%. But to scroll back up to these top 10 cryptos, as you guys can see, Bitcoin, like I said, is only down by a percent. Ethereum is down by 5%. XRP is getting the biggest hit overall, down 12%. Uh, retracing back down 49 cent right now. We saw it as high as like 80 cents. Uh, we'll explain why. I'll explain why that is. It was definitely called for, and I did say it in every previous video, as that we are expecting an XRP uh, pullback or correction. So if you didn't sell out at the top, I highly recommend you do or did. Uh, and I'll explain why in a little bit. Litecoin only down by 5%, pretty much following the rest of the market at $57.93. So around $58. Everything else not doing too bad, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, around seven out of the 10 coins are down by around five to six percent. Um, just to jump into this article as to why October may be so well for cryptocurrency, and then uh, we'll talk about the technical analysis. Huge, huge, huge news. This basically says why Litecoin listing for Gemini Exchange is a big deal for Litecoin. So I know a lot of you guys are uh, big Litecoin fans, and I wanted to say after news hit the headlines that Litecoin is headed for a Gemini inclusion in mid-October. Litecoin holders have all the reason to smile. However, the deal has come at a time when Litecoin ecosystem is facing a lot of criticism that has affected Litecoin price quick recovery from the September 5 market September 5th market slump. Uh, so obviously, hopefully you guys know what the Gemini exchange is. There's uh, two twins. I actually just had a quick brain fart, and I know it's probably explained later on in this article uh, that own the exchange these two twins that own the exchange and they're very 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 big into cryptocurrency and the gemini exchange is a huge 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 exchange program and uh, the fact that you know they're accepting litecoin to be traded on the exchange is just massive news you know to have pairings you know litecoin to xrp or litecoin to ethereum all these different pairs 
And the fact that it's added to an exchange gives the market a whole new perspective and so many more people will now be, uh, you know, will now be touched by Litecoin. You know, they'll now be aware of cryptocurrency, especially Litecoin and well, not necessarily cryptocurrency, but Litecoin specifically, they'll be more aware of it and they'll most likely start using it on the exchange. Uh, so to just scroll down, na, 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 na. it says the Litecoin community has been holding their breath since it was, it want, da, 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 Litecoin community has been holding their breath since it wanted, hinted, I don't even know what that said, the listing will be forthcoming, blah, 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 we're not going to read that, Litecoin will join other coins of repute and the recently got the nod to be added on in the Gemini and the new pairing, so this has got to be in another language or something, that's so weird, but very interesting. I should have read the article prior, but it does pretty much say that the Gemini exchange is going to be adding Litecoin. And that to me is huge news. Uh, I forgot the freaking brothers, but they're going to be adding uh, Litecoin to the exchange so that it's just massive overall. And we're definitely going to see some sort of impact in the future within October. Maybe I, I, I'm anticipating a $75 Litecoin like I'm about to show you guys. Uh, so just to jump into the the technical analysis. So just to update you prior, I was actually having a lot of technical dif difficulties making this episode a lot of lag. And then I just reset my whole computer. And it actually, uh, I think Google Chrome updated. So a lot of my lines, previous lines on TradingView have been erased. So I'm kind of just drawing them on as I go. And um, so if you see any lines being moved, it is due to the update that Google Chrome had. It was extremely slow prior and now is running quite well. So I'm definitely going to just be, you know, bear with me for the next maybe two or three videos, but everything will be uh, finished by, you know, next week and uh, fixed. So to move on to Litecoin on the Forex exchange, as you guys can see, relative strength index, we are seeing around 45, no, yeah, around 45, 46, which is very nice in my opinion, plenty of potential to move up. And I know a lot of you guys were commenting prior uh, on my last video saying that we're having a pullback. And if you watch that video, you would have heard me saying that we are going to experience a pullback. A pullback was needed. You know, we were practically bearing that overbought area. Uh, we just shot up from $50 all the way to 63. We were anticipating some sort of, you know, correction, a slight correction. And as I remember stating that 55 was the area to break. If we break this, we were going to shoot up. And the fact that we broke above the high low middle moving average, like I then stated, it will start to be acting as a support rather than a resistance. So as you guys can see, not only did we pull back down, we actually, so that's one thing that I wanted to point out to you guys is this line right here that I had, I think it was yellow yesterday. Yesterday, I just have it as white right now. You can see the second candle, the first candle retraced down to this support line, and then we started a second candle on that support line. So it was in, it was an actual support line. Uh, it then broke through that support, and it's now acting as a resistance. And as you can see, one, two, three, if not four candles, are now using that line as a resistance instead of a support, which is unfortunate, but it was anticipated. Uh, the good note is that we are using this high-low middle moving average as a support now. As you can see prior, one, two, three, numerous times we were using it and we could not break above that red band as you guys can see green band crossed over and is now hugging and holding the uh the price above the high low mma so that's huge to see for litecoin obviously 55 is still going to be a huge support if we ever dip lower but as of right now we're retracing back up and things are looking quite nice we definitely came from an area which we were was 70 dollars about uh, 70 points on the relative strength index we were about to be overbought uh, retraced all the way back down to 45. That gives us plenty of potential to move back up. So I don't anticipate a movement lower uh, relatively soon. Maybe in the future, obviously in the future, but as of right now, uh, we're definitely going to keep consolidating, if not start to move up tomorrow. Uh, moving on to the daily, as you guys can see, doesn't look too bad in my opinion. We're retracing back up uh, at around 50, even on the RSI. You can see the slight support right here. And actually, that's one thing I wanted to point out on the four hour really quick. So I did have this line drawn and there's obviously a few lines you can draw on this coin. So one thing that I noticed was if you drew it from here, from this bottom and you drew it up as such, you can see what's happening. So yes, we did break bearish from that and we did use it, but you can see all the support right here. 
and then we're using it here as well. So it's interesting. I'm not gonna use that line, but it's just another line you could have drawn and used potentially. Obviously it would have been more secure if you had both lines on here, but I think this line is holding pretty secure and is very, very, very in place right now. Uh, moving on to Bitcoin on the four hour, I do very well believe that we are still headed up to E. It's only a matter of time. Bitcoin was the only graph that actually didn't get reset for whatever reason on TradingView. So these lines are still for sure here. Uh, you can obviously tell why we did retrace. Like I said, when we were at prices at $6,700, not only were we facing resistance at that level, but we were also extremely overbought, literally trading at 75 points on the relative strength index, that RSI. So a pullback was definitely needed, was definitely necessary. As you guys can see, we definitely did that. There was a small support up here, but it was just not sustainable in the slightest. So I'm just going to delete that for the moment. Um, but yeah, we broke bullish right out of that uh, high-low middle moving average. You can see the green band crossed over and price retraced back down to the high-low MMA. You know, very called for in my opinion. A good short would have been that right there. You saw that we were overbought and you retraced it back down to support and sell and you sold right there or bought back your Bitcoin uh, right here. So that definitely looked nice. Looks very good in my opinion. You can see we were using that high-low MMA as a resistance in the past. We broke above and we're now using it as a support. Again, we corrected all the way back down to around 42. So plenty of support now uh, to move back up, plenty of room. And I do indeed think that maybe by tomorrow we should start seeing the price continue to move up and we will retest at E.6800, this downtrend right here fairly soon within the next couple of days. Lastly, looking at Ethereum. So I'm looking at Ethereum on the daily. RSI is 46. You can see a small support right here facing a lot of resistance with its downtrend right here. As you guys can see, this is again another point of resistance. I'm actually just going to move this down ever so slightly. As you guys can see right now, why we're having issues right now with that price. You can see in the past that we've had such a tremendous um, resistance from this downtrend that I'm about to show you guys. You can see how long it has been on Ethereum. Ethereum is, is definitely taking a big hit, but with that, indeed, I do see a massive correction uh, back up. So you can see it's been all the way up on here since, you know, like January 15th, and we've basically taken like eight months now of just constant beating and downtrend. You can see how many times we have retested this in the past, and you can see we kind of found some sort of support at 175. It was originally at around 360, broke through that. Then there was another one right here, as you guys can see, right there-ish. I'm just gonna move it down ever so slightly right there. And we broke through that once again and now fell and we're using 178 as a support. So if indeed we hold here, we're probably going to fall, continue to fall down to around 180 something, 180 and change, 184, 185, consolidate out and then retest that downtrend once again and then hopefully it can break through. Uh, if not, we're going to fall lower, and we'll definitely talk about that as the time gets closer, but there's no reason to start drawing on some support levels right at this current moment. Now, lastly, let's check out XRP. As you guys can see, pretty self-explanatory. We broke crazy bullish from this run right here, just to correct that ever so slightly. You can see the support right here. Broke extremely bullish, shot up all the way to almost 80 cents. The pullback definitely happened. And like I said in every single video, if you scroll back, you could see that I said we were extremely overbought. You know, when we were here, sell out, take your money and just run because we are going to correct fairly soon. As you can see, we traded sideways for two days and we had a lot of manipulation in the price right there. Traded sideways for two days and now we're retracing back down to its high low middle moving average on the daily. Because as you guys know, when you look at things on the daily point of view, the lines are a lot more uh, strict and they're a lot more strong. So to see extremely overbought is an indication that we're going to see some sort of correction, some sort of pullback, whatever you want to call it, uh, back down to the closest um, support or neutral, you know, price level, price action. Uh, as you guys can see, 46 is about that level. Uh, we're currently at 48 cents, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see uh, any more pullback, maybe two more cents pullback, but actually as of right now, the fact that we are back into a more neutral area, we're not overbought anymore, we're not overextended. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we just, you know, hung out here, traded sideways. If not, 
pulled back lower. I really cannot see us going much higher in the near future until we see a lot more of a retracement. Just for curiosity, I did want to see. You can see how overbought we were, how overextended we were here. And as you can see, the price has just slowly climbed back down. And it's very possible that it's going to continue to fall until it retests its four hour uh, high low middle moving average. It's definitely possible. Uh, as you guys can see on the daily, it is just barely in that overbought region or back into that neutral region. It was overbought, so there's plenty of potential for it to keep falling. Just wanted to make that reference. Otherwise, um, that's going to sum up the episode for today, guys. Sorry for the lag or the little um, issues I had prior. Um, that'll be fixed probably by tomorrow. Otherwise, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Leave a giant thumbs up if you like the content. Let me know your opinions about today's video in the comments below. And uh, give away a 5K, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode. Peace.